Let's take a closer look at the App Data tab and the different ways to visualize our data. So I'm currently in the projects, which I've highlighted. And we have all of our columns here. If I scroll slightly up, I can see a little link here that says five additional fields. I'm going to click this. And Bubble is now giving us the option to modify our existing database view. So if I didn't want to see the description, I can uncheck. If I wanted to see, for instance, the created date, then I would check it, and so forth. I'm also going to click on Unique ID to explain the concept of Unique IDs. And then I'm also going to remove, perhaps, the is active. Let me save this new database view. So now on the left-hand side, we have a sublist. And basically, these are the same things, but they are slightly different views. And I have the columns that I would like to view in here. Now, over on the right-hand side, we have the two built-in fields here. One is called create a date. We know what that means. And the other one is unique ID. Now, the concept of unique ID is quite an important one because this key enables us to create something unique for every row in the database because we can't guarantee that Zara won't create another project called Website Design, and at some stage it'll have progress of 80. It'd be very difficult to find data this way. And we use this unique ID to link different data types together as well. For instance, let me click across to the tasks. And here we have something that looks like a unique ID, and that's because it is. So if I click on this particular one, we will go to the particular project that the task is linked to. Let me click it. And this project is called Product Launch. When you just copy this unique ID, you can also use this project unique ID to filter the projects in the project view. Let me click across to Projects, Modified, and then paste it in. And this will always return a single record, OK? Could have also searched for product launch. But there might be multiple projects called product launch, which is why I prefer using the unique ID where possible. We can delete these records if we'd like by using the check icon and then clicking on Delete. Bubble gives us just a confirm there. If I click the pencil icon, I can also edit this how I'd like. So I can actually add a slug here if I wanted to. And I can change the progress to no. What options do we have across the top? Well, I see new entry. So I wouldn't do this in my live database. I would do this in my test database that I'm currently in. I could click a new entry and fill out the data, and then create. This is perfect from a developer perspective to test with the exact data that I'd like to test with. We have the option to upload a CSV. So you can download CSVs from other sources and then upload them to Bubble. We can even export our database to a CSV or these other options. And lastly, Bubble also gives us some tools for storing our database. Up here on the right-hand side, we can copy our live database to our development database, or we can copy our development data into our live database. We can also restore versions from a particular time. And I've had to do this in the past, so this is a very powerful feature. So go ahead, create more app data if you'd like. Use the new entry button to create data or use the upload to upload from a CSV and then edit how you'd like.